today from balmy Pullman, Washington. It's the 89th renewal of the Apple Cup. Washington and Washington State next. Washington. It's Pac-10 Conference football with a terrific league matchup with the 89th annual Apple Cup as the Washington State Cougars play host to the Washington Huskies. Today will be the 89th time these two schools have met. The Huskies have won 56, the Cougars 26, and they have tied six times. Well, here we go. Washington State has won the toss. They will receive the football on the kick from John Wales. D. Morincola, Kevin McKenzie back deep. to the 34. Well, here's the big fellow from Great Falls, Montana. He is huge quarterback, 6'6", 244 pounds, a redshirt sophomore. And he has very fine numbers, 2,560 yards. Drew Bledsoe, Jack Thompson, the great quarterbacks that Washington State has had in their past. Washington State wants to run the ball well. Let's see if they go to Michael Black early. They will. And he handles the left side. No gain. He may have been pushed back. Michael Black is their leading rusher with 884 yards. Tim's a very good wide receiver. Will also play that slot back. The offensive line, Scott Sanderson, a future pro, goes 6'6", 296 pounds. He's probably the best lineman they've had since Mike Etley. Well, they've got nine on that line. And Leaf will run it again. And Black cannot get outside. He'll gain about four, but it'll be third down and long. Defensively for Washington, David Ritchie is the senior tackle and a good one from Kelso, Washington. The linebackers probably the best in the Pac-10 as a group. Jason Chorak leads the conference in sacks with 13 and a half. And Tony Parrish may be the best safety. Third and six. No backs. Everybody split out. And Leaf with a three-step drop. He misses his tight end, David Knuff. at the 22 really taking a chance here's Brock Hewitt a 6-5 red shirt freshman from Puyallup Washington he's thrown for 1,534 yards double tight end they give it to Dylan he slams the middle he went over the left guard Bob Sapp a Husky lineup presented by Southwest Airlines Corey Dillon, the great running back, but watch Jerome Payton. He's a big play wide receiver already with six touchdowns this year. Great offensive line. Benji Olsen, football news, first team All-American. And they've had great ones in Seattle. They'll run Dillon right. And he's to the outside. First down, Corey. Defensively for Washington State, Gary Holmes and Leon Bender, two of the best tackles that the Cougars have had. Both are over 6'6 and 300 pounds. The linebackers, James Darling in the middle, leads the Pac-10 with 125 tackles. And the secondary, Dwayne Stewart is a big, physical, strong safety at just across the 37-yard line. There are flags down. Hewitt trying to throw to Janoski. The three linemen. Well, touchdown passes, five intercepted. He'll go play action now with plenty of time. Block going deep. Corey Dillon! No! Incomplete 25-yard line. Again, Washington going double tight end. It's second down and five. They will run. They're back at running back. Jason Harris is they're going to go with eight man and nine man defensive fronts over the course of the afternoon. Harris stays in. Dillon still on the sideline. And a flag is down and the Cougar may have been. A 
Cougars Offside. penalty is hurting them all year Defense. long. Five yards from the previous spot. The yardage gives Washington the first down. Well, the Huskies in Cougar territory at the 49. Fred Coleman goes in motion. Dylan back in. Gains nothing. James Darling's there. They'll go with one tight end, and he's a good one. Cameron Cleland on the right. Dylan. Oh, he slams forward. Third down, two yards to go. No backs as Dylan goes in motion. Hewer dumps it off Cleveland. Cleveland gets the first down and more inside the 30-yard line. Gary Holmes that will let go of their coach, Bill Mallory. Double tight. Jason Harris. Big hole. Harris banging his way to the 22-yard line. A nice job of having his special teams ready for the Huskies special kickoffs. Leaf needs to come up with some first downs. Play action pass is going deep. And it is almost intercepted. Second and ten. And now they blitz. Leaf picks it up. And again it's incomplete. Third and ten. Tough assignment for Ryan Leaf this afternoon. Cougars last in the pack can at converting third down. Leaf almost had it picked off. He threw it right by his intended receiver. Jeff Banks. Jarzinka at the 25. And Joe Jarzinka trying to get outside. And does. And look at this. The walk-on cut down from behind at the 46-yard line. I would imagine there's a lot of shouts of down in front behind them. Washington, first and ten. Heward, he's going deep for the home run. Jerome Payton almost hauled it in. It would have been a sensational catch. Payton should have kept his feet. Would have had a better chance to bring that ball down. Easy for you to say up in this warm boot. Here's Corey Dillon. And he'll only gain three yards. Now single coverage for both Dee Morincola and Chad Henshin on the right side. Hewitt backing up. And Payton hit hard. So we will see two of the top return specialists in the conference today. And that ball going towards Tim's, but into the end zone. And it'll be first and ten. No doubt I'd head straight to the hospital. I'd have to forego the Apple Cup. <laughs> first and ten. A draw. The tackle is broken by Michael Black, but then he's surrounded. I mean, they have won their last five games after that terrible loss at Notre Dame. Ryan Lee throws. It is caught at the 25-yard line and out of bounds. The Buckeyes, for the second straight year, unbeaten playing Michigan, and they lose. Stuck at the 24-yard line. Great play by Chris Campbell. And that third down. And still the Cougars on three possessions have not come up with a first down. Jarsinka at the 30. This kid 
has absolutely. We pause now for this word from your local stations. You're watching Packers to tie this game in the first quarter. Down 3-0. Leaf swings it to Michael Black. Forget it. A huge loss of eight yards in the play. Fourth possession. They have one yard total offense. And Leaf throwing. And they get something back here, but there's a fumble in the play by Nyan Taylor. They say he did not hold it. He's number 40. He drops back in coverage. Leaf in trouble now. Wings it downfield. Incomplete at the 23-yard line. by Jeff Banks the Huskies one of the best turnover ratio teams in the Pac-10 conference and Washington State dead last Dylan big hole to the 43 Huskies by three Payton to the right side, Dylan the lone setback, and they're going to go deep, and it's Jerome Payton, and he makes the catch. A flag is down in the area where Jerome made the catch. Play in Pass cold weather. Defense, 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Dylan stays in. Two wide receivers left. Gerald Harris and Jerome Payton. Flags go down. Dylan goes down, but I believe the Cougar was again the quality of Washington. Defense, five yards from the previous spot, still first down. Technical difficulties, we're trying to correct those at this time, so please stay with us. First down, five yards to go. Kissel going out to the pass, he's covered, so Brock decides to run, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. And there is number four going for his 21st touchdown this year in the all-time Washington scoring record. Third and goal. Dylan. He's in. And Corey Dillon has just set the all-time Husky scoring record, breaking the mark of 125 set by the great All-American Hugh McElhaney. John Wells for the point after. It is good. And the Huskies have themselves a 10-0 lead. I haven't seen Arnold Schwarzenegger's new movie yet, but I think that's what he's after. He's Turbo Man. Washington has the Cougars right where they want him right now, up 10 points. Something special from the special teams could really help. It'll be Sean Timms at the 29-yard line. He's through! Past the 50! Timms out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. Now the Cougars must make the Huskies pay. They accepted a fumble inside Washington territory and could not score. They'll go to Michael Black and Black to the 35 and out of bounds near the 32. He is just too shy of the great Heisman Trophy winners, O.J. Simpson and Marcus Allen. Play action. Not much was there, but the catch is made. to be up closer to 60 percent if the Cougars are going to be successful with this offense. Fourth and three. Blitz on. He dumps it off. Incomplete. Intended for Mike Black. We played almost 25 minutes of football here at Martin Stadium and Washington has had it almost 20 of those minutes. Second and short. Play action. Let's see if it works. It does for a first down to Fred Coleman at the 47-yard line. Nearing the five-minute mark of the first half. Huskies leading by 10. Dylan forward near the 40-yard line. That is his 24th carry of the first half. You're going to be pretty tired after a quarter, and Corey Dylan was. Well, they've come across again. For the snap. Offside, defense, five yards from the previous spot, and the yardage is enough for a first down. He's the most heavily penalized team in the conference. Hewitt, he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Cleveland's out there, broken up nicely by Dwayne Stewart. Second and ten. This is Jason Harris. Sure. Well, Keaho is in the game as the fullback. Dylan remains in as the tailback. They will send Fred Coleman in motion. Payton is to the right.
right side. And they throw a sideline route to him, but the pass way was the drawn the offside. Offside on a defense. Five yards from the previous They may spot. go for it now. Still fourth down. His long this year has been just 42 yards, and this one will be some from 47. Game 40 to hold. It's blocked. Washington State has it down the right sideline. Brandon Moore near midfield. Is this the break Washington State needed? They had a fumble recovery inside the 40-yard line, but they have been able to get on the scoreboard. Michael Block around the right side, and he is hammered down after a good game. But I think Mike Price has done a good job so far sticking with that run. They were one block again. He will not get the first down as he knows his. Do they go back to Black or will they throw the football? Single coverage left. Play action pass. Leap in trouble. Sides, and this gives the Cougars their first first down of the game. And we have just 237 remaining in the first half. Michael Black breaks a tackle past the 40. So a good six, seven yard out of West LA Junior College, where he set a school record last year, rushing for over 2,400 yards in a single season. For the Washington defense, he's not going to get some confidence back for this young quarterback. They're going with three receivers to the left side. Third down, a passing down. Black was well covered. He came back looking for his tight end, Knuff. It's incomplete in fourth down. Banks kick. The Cougars let it go into the end zone. Dominating the first half in time for possession. Brock Heward, he has led his team to one touchdown drive. Corey Dillon has the 25, hammering to the 27 yard line again. Well, they'll run it again, try and run it out. And this time, Washington State all over number four. And Washington, the offensive has given them 10, but the defense has been absolutely brilliant, stuffing one of the fine quarterbacks in college football and the young sophomore Ryan Leaf. But he has had one of his worst first halves this year as Washington State has been shut out by the Husky defense. They've only won one time here since 1986. Jarzinka and Payton, they're kicking it to Jarzinka at the 13. And Joe is upended. He's bought into our offense being based on a great running back. And he has been very efficient and has not made mistakes. So they go to that very efficient running back. Closing in on 1,500 for the season in all time. Washington record. For the football, and it's a first down at the 48 yard line. So, first and 10 past the 48, and Corey Dillon breaking to the outside to the 45. But three and outs by Washington State on almost every offensive possession. Play action, plenty of time again. Gerald Harris was out of bounds when he caught the football. It's third down. Will they go to Dillon or will they put it in the air? going to throw. Incomplete at the 37-yard line. Waiting. The snap to kick it to Sean Timms. Timms to the fair catches the 10-yard line, and that's where the Cougars will start. They come sprinting out on offense. A fumble! And a flag will go down. Before the snap, false start. Offense, half the distance to the goal. Still first down. We have a big play, but Leaf's got to hit a few passes first. Again, man coverage on both wideouts. Leaf finally with some time. Going deep. Broken up beautifully. What a play by Mel Miller. But did it post route. He's looking for Chad Carpenter. Good call. Very good call. Mel Miller. First down. With Ryan Leaf operating first down.
charge down. the neutral zone. Dillon will try and move within one of Marcus Allen and O.J. Simpson for 21 rushing touchdowns in the season. There's the handoff. He pushes. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown, Corey Dillon. with a 17-0 lead on their arch rivals, Washington State. Corey Dillon with 22 overall touchdowns this year, 21 on the ground. What I like so much about Corey Dillon, he keeps that consistent demeanor. You can see it in his eyes, the focus. Doesn't ever get too excited. No matter whether it's a one-yard run or a 50-yard run, he comes to the game with a business-like attitude. Washington up 17 points. They're going to be sending a lot of people at Ryan Lee. Very short kick again. Sean Timms. He's down at the 24-yard line. Yes, she does. Living in Seattle, Washington. Husky showing a four-man front, but they've got Hank Aliaga in that gap. Jason Chorak with another sack. He forced the fumble. Last year, he didn't play much in the Apple Cup game. He hurt his neck, but he's fully recovered. Ewart going for the home run on first down. Corey Dillon has it knocked away. Darling doesn't make the play. Well, they've got Terry Holloman in the game, the junior from Everett, Washington. That's an interesting story. Last week, after 16 carries in the first quarter against San Jose State, he was spent. <laughs> Play action. First down, 10-yard line. Fred Coleman, Washington, already leading by 17. Dillon to the five, and he is stopped there. That has not gotten untracked in this Apple Cup game. And they turned the ball over twice in the second half. Dillon, touchdown, and he has time. season, tying Heisman Trophy winners O.J. Simpson and Marcus Allen. Point after touchdown is good, and Washington has a 24-0 lead. USC was always known for being the tailback U of the Pac-10. Well, Corey Dillon changing that. Sheehy, and now Corey Dillon. Here is a new tailback U in the Pac-10 Conference, and it's in Seattle. Washington State gets the football to the 32-yard line. If they don't come up with a score on this drive, this game may be over. Against this defense, I think you're right with Michael Black attempting the middle and gaining two yards. They move Jorak inside as a defensive tackle. Side gets back to the line of scrimmage. It where they're going shotgun now with one back and four wide out. Leads three step drop and there's a flag. Out and missed him. I have not been impressed. And they're spreading everybody out, keeping one back in and Michael Black. Defensively for Washington. Black. Oh, he's a load to bring down now inside the 20 for the first down. So too is a man on the left. Chris Jackson. He'll run black again. Big hole again. And Mike 
tackles inside the 10 yard line. Black and someone who too quickly. Before the snap, false start, offense, five yards from the previous spot, and it's still second down. Both receivers will be in simple bad coverage by the defensive backs. Leaf going corner, Carpenter incomplete. And Chad will complain. Instead, it was thrown six yards deep. Washington, you can tell, has shut him down. Only 26 yards through the air. Blitz on. Carpenter! I think he's got the first down. He cuts back to the left, and that may have cost him the first down. It did. Came into the game with over 100 career catches. Will Leaf sneak it? He goes 6'5", 235 pounds. No, they're going to give it to the second back through. And I believe Dewan Gilmore will get the first down. First and goal from the six. Michael Black. No, forget it. Nigel Burton was there. Jason Chorak was there. He was out of bounds. Third down and goal from the six. Are just sensational. Leaf pumps. Buys himself some time. It is broken up. And the Cougars down 24, going for the three, and they get it. Washington State had scored in their last 163 straight Pac-10 games, the longest in the Pac-10 during that spot span. They will make it 164 because of that three-pointer. Right now, Mike Price looks like he's given a lot of encouragement to leave on the side. Three and a half minutes left. Charzinka. Courageous fellow takes it again past the 30 and near the 40 yard line. Dillon, just a couple, he now has 142 yards rushing. Dillon for just two to the 44. Good today on third down. They sent three wide right, one left. Fewer will dump it off to his tight end. They will not get the first down this time. Red beautifully. Tim's fumbles the football. And he will cover it himself, but he'll lose a good 10 yards on the play. Jason Chorak. The Huskies really were just a brilliant defensive game. Leap. All kinds of time here. Chris Jackson. Incomplete. Mel Miller again. What a play. Brand of ball on the outside. Leap. Incomplete. Looking for Sean Timms. This is Jarsinka. Sinka. This guy is something. I'm telling you, he has a future on Baywatch. He's the Yanni of college football. <laughs> well, he's got the distance. And he just misses off to the side. It is no good. Washington State needs to lengthen this game. Well, they're going double tight in now. Well, go play action pass. Leaf loses the football as he tried to throw it deep. He says he loves to, to play in the cold weather. He has not played well tonight. And Sean Timms at the 35 yard line, and again, Leaf could not find him. And now, Washington State spreads everybody out. Five wide receivers, three left, two right. Sean Timms, he's got it. First down, Washington State. That was the slot man, Sean Timms, who was being covered by a linebacker. It's black. He's not getting much on the ground. Michael 
very fortunate with a rushing four. They've got another one open. This time it's Kevin McKenzie with the catch, and he will go to the three-yard line. Well, they better be careful. They're giving up some big plays all of a sudden in the passing game. A guy from Malloy comes in the game for Washington. Bootleg racing in untouched is Ryan Lee. Boy, did he make him bite by Tony Truant. And Tony has it good. And Washington State is within 14 with eight minutes and 50 seconds to go. Will leave with a brilliant drive and then missing a wide open receiver. He comes back and scores the touchdown. It's a key play here in the fourth quarter, and with eight minutes and 50 seconds to go, the Cougars are only down by two touchdowns. Well, Truen, Hewer checking off. Washington State showing a four-man front, so they give it to Holloman, and he busts for four, five, maybe even six yards. James Darling stuffs Holloman. Third down. They're going back to Holloman. It's not there. The Cougars have held. Better than his average. High snap. He gets it off in time. It is not a particularly great punt. But it takes a good bounce inside the 40-yard line. Has a seven-point lead. They'll be receiving the football on the kickoff. David, do you think Mike Price will go for an onside kick with 3.46 left? There's Jarzinka, only man back. Through and hammers it. And it is Mike Reed who is the other man. He has had that hand on his right leg massaged out. And he wants to play. He goes off tackle left. No. One yard gain. Be checking off really go to his running back. Probably not. He just brought up Reed as a blocking back. They run the fade. Python, and there's a flag down. Before the snap, the leg game on the offense. Five yards from the previous spot. It's still second down. South of Seattle. He's going to go back to the fade route. I'm almost sure of it. He's going to throw that deep ball outside, either on this down or next down. Safety blitz. Incomplete at midfield. Morin Cola with a great breakup. Seven of 18 now through the air and only 65 yards passing in this game. Play action. With time. Incomplete. Henderson was there. Gar standing at his three. It's a low snap. He gets it off. Not a good kick. Fair catch by Tims at the 41. Can you believe this? No backs leap. Throws quick. Chad Carpenter. First down. From the 22-yard line. Oh, has the momentum swung. Is throwing like the man people say he resembles Drew Bledsoe of the look at this fourth quarter for Washington State. Three seconds left in the clock. He was able to drop the football, pick it up, and now Lee faces a big third down. They'll give it to Michael Black, and Black is through to the 10-yard line, and he's got the first down. First and goal from the 10-yard line. Black again to the 5. He will score, but there is a flag down. I think that's going to be a personal foul call against Jason Chorak of the Huskies. This touchdown will stand, and pending the PAT, this game is tied up. The touchdown is good. Personal foul on the defense. That's a 15-yard penalty, and it'll be assessed on the kickoff. Eight this year. He's tied the game at 24. 118 left. It's 
25 degrees out. His mom's watching the game tonight, and she's she's got the vitamin C in the mail. They're insane, but they've got. Looks like they are going to put the ball. In. Brock Hewitt scrambling to the 30. Has the first down. You remember what happened last year? A tie game at 30. Washington marched down the field where John Wales hit the field goal with a minute left in the game. Reed on the delay. They'll chase him down. And he will not get the first down. He Reed, he's got the first down. James Darling stuffed him back. Payton in single coverage. Shad Hinchin is on him. Or in Cola on Coleman. Before the snap, full start. Offense. Five yards from the previous spot. Still first down. Heward, regardless, has to hit a couple plays down the field in the passing game. They've got a big play guy in the game in Gerald Harris. He had a 67-yard touchdown against Arizona State in a big comeback. We'll go with the fade. And it is to Payton. They've got a first down inside the 30. They're safe routes. He can see his receiver. He can see the danger with the defensive back. And they are in John Wales' range. They will run the fullback, Mike Reed, to the 25 to the 24-yard line. 41-yard field goal attempt. is decided by inches and here is the one they try to tie it this husky defense has been so impressive over the course of the 96 season ryan leaf back trying to give carpenter some time to come open on the post corner route the ball is thrown perfectly carpenter in great position trying to get a foot down wow We'll come back and wrap it up. But Washington in a thriller wins in overtime. 